Hey there, beautiful people. Are you ready? Yeah, let's do some aquatics, right? Uh, I will find every single possible list for summer, warm weather, high heat and humidity, and I'll do blue fragrances, fresh fragrances, citrus fragrances. You'll see, you know, I, I have to find some ways to make this list to keep you guys interested and hopefully you enjoy these. I think where you live, if you have a lot of sun, if you have high heat, you know, like, you know, you, have, you need air conditioning, you need AC, man, everywhere. This fragrance excellent choices. So aquatics, basically what they mean, according to me, oceanic, aquatic. Uh, aquatic means aquatic, definitely. But like also ozonic, you know, you just go fresh breeze. It can mean several things like by the seaside or uh, something like blue waters, you know, like a little bit salty. So I have put up about 15 fragrances, kind of like a mix. Some are sweeter, some are more fresher, some are some actually smell like the seaweed. So we have something for everybody, right? So I have one honorable mention that's going to be David of Cool Water. This is such a classic, you know, I mean, I if I actually show it today, many people may say this one is a little bit dated, you know, but, you know, it has this charm, you know, during the Fridays and everything, I always, once in a while I reach for it, it has this nice aromatic property, it has some green vibes, blue vibes, some nice little lavender, it's really nice, it's very beautiful. It's a nostalgic scent, you know, it's it's just always, you know, think of like old buildings that has windows like this by the seaside, uh, reminds me of those things, all right? Cool Water, amazing fragrance, I prefer this way over the GIT, Greenish Tweed, so that's my honorable mention. So let's go one by one, number 15, I have picked up Daniel Desire Blue, and you might ask, is this actually truly aquatic? Sometimes you have to use your imagination, this is more sweet, fruity, sort of like a lychee, and kind of like a less sweet more fresh version of daniel desire red but i feel the juice color sort of manipulates with your mind and also this one actually smells kind of like a fresh ozonic uh, sweet fragrance it's more sweet i admit it but you'll definitely enjoy this on a sunny day daniel desire blue beautiful little bottle and very affordable too number 15 number 14 let's go with the king of freshies you know like this is the budget fragrance and this is like a true Example of an aquatic, that is Nautica's Voyage. Everybody knows this green apple, musk, uh, salty, of course, and uh, sea breeze sort of vibe. Sometimes you get cucumber. Never gets boring, you know. I mean, like, man, it's just like, at first, if you never smell this before, it will smell kind of weird. Like, what am I smelling? This is like a fragrance. It's like, doesn't have any sweetness. Yes, that's the whole point. It's salty, aquatic. But once you get used to that melon vibe, I also get kind of like green apple, melon, cucumber. It cools you down. It's beautiful aroma last a very long time in the summertime uh, chef and definitely check it out true aquatic by heart okay nautica's voyage number 14 number 13 you're gonna go with my light fragrance this one uh called hugo boss bottled tonic uh, i just bought this big bottle for the juice color it looks even nicer with a bigger bottle and also it got this green apples i think apples a little bit of a frozen uh, i mean a cool breeze sort of vibe you know exactly uh, feel that way when I wear this. It's sweet. It reminds me of Boss Bottled, but in an aquatic way. So this is a very ozonic fragrance. That's why people say, I don't get beast mode. This is not supposed to be. This is more like a Versace Purum, that sort of vibe, but very nice aquatic, very underrated fragrance for high heat and humidity, breezy days. Try Boss Bottle Tonic. Check out my review on all of them. Uh, next one is going to be Tommy Bahama fragrance. This is called Tommy Bahama for men, or I think it's also called... Uh, was that called tequila i forgot the name i write down the name uh, but it has a sort of like a boozy name beautiful bottle i reviewed it a few days back and it has a nice little uh, bottle amber color bottle this actually some people say it's remind it reminds them of uh, oh it is called cognac right so some people say it reminds them of nautica's voyage they are not exactly same this one has a lot more going on better performer and when I smell this, it's so beautiful. It's definitely related to Nautica Voy, but a lot more beautiful and interesting. Try out Tommy Bahama Men or called Cognac. Very underrated fragrance, very long lasting and uh, different kind of aquatic. <clears throat> so uh, next one I'm going to show you is a fragrance. It's I have something similar to that in the list, but I don't think it's a clone of that. Many people call this a clone of Essenza, but I think this is a fantastic release from House of Bentley and they're not getting enough um, credit for it. This is called Bentley for Men, Silver Lake. Uh, when you hear Silver Lake and you'll be like, hmm, lake, how's aquatic connected to lakes? If there's water, man, you can make magic happen. But if you wear this by a seaside, again, cool breeze, you go to the mountain peak, it cools you down. It definitely has fresh oceanic vibe. People say it's clone of Essenza. 
man but this one it smells a little bit different got some florals in there but i think it's a true aquatic very underrated fragrance try it out good longevity too and very affordable bentley for men silver lake that's number 11 i think so we have uh yeah we have like last 10 left now next one is one of the flankers that I truly love. It's very underrated. I just want to include this in this list because you guys need to look at this. This is called Armani Code and this is called Colonia. Okay, I just reviewed the sport version. That's sporty. This one is classy. This is true Italian style cologne. Uh, it has that original Armani Code, but also has that beautiful uh, seaside aquatic vibe, blue vibe basically. Okay, so I will include that in that list. Um, just try it out. It's not as beast mode as some of the other stronger ones, but sunny days, kind of like a spring days, you're spending some time by the beach, you know, and then you're just having some, you know, nice little snacks, looking at the water, just enjoying yourself. This is a beautiful watery fragrance, which also is sweet, beautiful perfume, very high class, Armani Code, Colonia, bit more pricey, but definitely worth the money. After that, True Aquatic from Middle East, Hawass, definite, definitely an aquatic fragrance. Uh, you can also call this a desert theme fragrance because it has the desert breeze vibe uh, but this one it's it's so good it's just ozonic aquatic once again um, it is a good performer it smells sweet sort of like Invictus Aqua but in many ways it's more versatile much better priced check out Rasas is Hawas check out my review amazing fragrance amazing bottle next one we're gonna go with Mansara Aqua Oud uh, I just am so happy I bought this fragrance blind by and it was such a success one of the best blue fresh also sweet but different kind of fragrance this one some people say smells like aqua atlantic um there are definitely some theme they're same similar but this is a different class of fragrance this is a one of the one of a kind fragrance you must try okay mansara can also make different kind of fragrance instead of just loud sweet uh, candied you know like uh, synthetic fragrances this is one of them beautiful little perfume aqua wood by mansara the next pick after that this fragrance, I actually don't want to call this aquatic. It's very classy perfume, but it has this blue theme going, the water I cannot resist. This is Guerlain Low Medial, and this is called Sport. So what's the good thing about Sport is this fragrance definitely has that almond, the base, you know, the nutty vibe. It's very classy, got the original Low Medial vibe, but fresh, out of the shower, clean, blue skies, okay? And if you wear this by the seaside, definitely you'll get that aquatic vibes, but it, there's nothing salty about it. It's just more sweet, okay? So sweet aquatic low medial sport check it out okay the next one is a fragrance no one shows nowadays jacques cavalier i think made this this is basically i'm showcasing here this is the weakest from the line okay and I, as you can tell i have right there where right there <laughs> uh, discontinued fragrance i'll review that soon i just got that got them yesterday the tonic versions of them so this fragrance today i'm going to show you is called bulgari aqua purum the forgotten gem not so long ago, six, seven years back, people used to rave about it. Ten years back, people used to wear this everywhere. I think went through some reformulation, lost a little bit of uh, performance. So not the best part from, I would say, honestly speaking, but the best trait of this fragrance is the smell. It's so beautiful. If you like cool water, this is a niche version of cool water to me. Okay, If you never tried it, try it. It's like a deep sea, very nice. Imagine you go deep sea diving and you don't hear any sound of the outside world okay it's just simplicity green and some people call this like oh i got this fishy smell because they don't know the smell of seaweed truly an aquatic and deep sea vibe amazing aromatic fragrance let me just spray this a little bit just to remind me oh man one of the best fragrance for masculine man daily office wear signature scent worthy beautiful bottle you can try the other ones like the atlantic or even I just brought Amara. They're all beautiful. Whole line is collectible. Uh, but the best thing is if you try the original, then you'll see where the flankers came from, right? So that's the next one. So we have five left here. Number five, I'm going to go with a niche perfume, which is a bit surprising because some people are like, hey, niche fragrance will be number one. I know. But different people have different choices. I love this fragrance, first thing. Uh, I always wanted to own it. You know, I have that 100 ml version, but I wish I had the beautiful 120 ml. Those bottles look really beautiful, but a bit harder to find. Irolfa is truly an aquatic, okay? You may have missed it, like, oh, Irolfa, how's an aquatic? It has ambergris, it has seaside vibe, it has salty, fresh breeze vibe, hardly any citrus. It's very different, it's very different. If you just smell it, and you'll see, like, treat 
masterfully done. You know, at first you'll not think much of it, but high heat, summer days, let's say just rain far away and you're just watching those dark clouds passing by and you see a little bit like the ocean also. This is that smell, okay? Uh, ambergris, 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 heaven. Grits, it all for number five. So after that, number four, I bought a giant bottle. I'm so happy. This is a classic. Many people would say, hey, they used to enjoy, let's say, NSYNC back in the days, but they were never admitted because like it's, it's kind of like not very masculine, isn't it? Like Backstreet Boys, never heard of them. And then when you go at be alone at home, you'll be like, you are my fire. You know, you start singing because you know those songs. So it's simple and easy. This fragrance right here is kind of like the best of king of fresh fragrance. One of them anyway. This is called Aqua Di Gio. I'm just so happy I brought it back. I bought it. I always wanted a big bottle. Frosted glass, mysterious. And uh, the true definition of an aquatic, okay? Um, this perfume is still selling, still expensive. I cannot understand how, but... When you smell it, hmm, yeah, it does, does smell like the king. Uh, I really wished, like Essence is my favorite from the line. I am getting the EDP version soon. But no matter how many flankers, ADG Profumo, Essence, uh, Absolute, so many out there, right? I smell. I always come back to this one in the summertime. I crave for it. It's just so simple. It smells like weekend. It smells like a cabin by the sea. Let's say you are on the Maldives for vacation. Just take this fragrance. It's not the longest lasting, but it just makes you feel like million bucks. It brings back memories of 90s, right? This is called Aqua Digio, king of aquatics, floral, uh, kind of like uh, citrus, orange, peppery, masculine. This is a fragrance. It's like, a, I wish I could have like a bucket of it. Just take a shower with it. Smells good all day. I hope the ADP is that good, as good as this, but definitely an awesome fragrance, Aqua Digio by Giorgio Armani. After that, I love this a little bit more than Aqua Digio. Some people will be like, eh, this one, I hate it. You know, there's got this uh, cucumber note. I hate that. You know, there's this kind of like a something green in there. People don't like that. Okay. But I love it because this was one of my first blue fragrances. And this is called Polo Blue. One of the most underrated ones, the EDT. Okay. So right, definitely there are many other versions of it. But once I smell them, they're sometimes just longer lasting, sometimes a little bit more aromatic, a bit darker, got the leather with EDP. Some of the other ones, they smell maybe longer lasting, but nothing beats the smell of original Polo Blue. Trust me when I say this, uh, if you never tried it, spray this. It's just so lovely. It's just so lovely, man. I'm like, if you ask me to define like what fragrance defines you, one of them would be Polo Blue. For summer, in Malaysia, a lot of memories. I was uh, sometimes, you know, um, visiting a friend sometimes in hospital. And you know, when I wore it, one of my friends gave me a compliment like, hey, whole hospital smell like Savlon, Dettol, and Bandage. But when you entered the whole room you feel like you brought back huge ocean breeze hint of freshness and then just something blue refreshing it just kind of woke us up right so that's the power of polo blue amazing masterpiece fragrance carlos benaim i think who made this not sure but polo blue is my next aquatic number three number two yeah this fragrance is always here this is called pacific rock moss by goldfield and banks um i will not say go and buy this okay Sometimes I do say try it, sample it, but the price is ridiculously expensive. Uh, for an aquatic, some people ask me, is it worth buying this? Go buy light blue Dolce & Gabbana for women. A fragrance will meet your craving. But the magical property of this fragrance is the higher the heat, this fragrance brings out beast mode projection. It goes away, it comes back. So in that way, I never felt like this is a weak juice I bought. I always wear this high heat situation. It has a lotus note, floral. It's kind of like unisex. But then when you go by the ocean, man... When you smell this, it's just so simple. It's elegant. I know, don't don't talk about the reviewer who hyped this, but uh, this perfume is truly beautiful. Okay, one of the best aquatics from the niche side. If you do have the spare cash, get it. You will not regret it. Beautiful bottle, beautiful juice color, Pacific Rock Moss. So that leads me to number one. Out of all of them, uh, you know, mood changes. You know, you'll be like, hey, you showed this last year. It was like number eight. Why is it number one? Mood changes, bro. You know, different things you crave different times. I was going to put Chanel Alirom Sport. I will be honest with you. But I'm like, mm, aquatic, I need a little bit more, like kind of like a lighter vibe, you know, something like blue skies, white clouds, a kind of like ozonic. That's when I picked up Versace Porom, okay? This is my, I think, third or fourth 
uh, big bottle. Before that, I had about 200 mLs. This fragrance will never get old. I think I got a 2018 batch. This is a good batch. It has decent longevity, but it's not a beast mode fragrance. That's the only thing people complain about it. The vintage, when it came out first, it was such a whole dare, you know, it, it's such a lovely fragrance. Uh, and now it's like a shadow of the fragrance. Man, still available, right? What if they discontinue this, right? I would suggest to everybody, this is one of the most beautiful bottles ever. If you go to my channel, the cover photo is this fragrance. I took a picture. I'm very proud of it. It just totally describes summer. It describes aquatic, fresh, floral, masculinity. How they made this, I have no idea. Man, this... Albert Tomorius, man, this is a master perfumer, you know. This guy made this a masterpiece. I just love it. Number one today is Versace Purim or the signature for men. That's my, my number one for aquatics. Do let me know what are your favorites and I hope you enjoy the video. Do let me know what are your favorite aquatic fragrances. Do you like aquatic light blue fragrances? What do you think of them? Do you think they're nice or they're just like meh? You know? <laughs> Have a nice day. See you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.